Hey, welcome back to Score on Business. So our next guest is returning is Stephanie Huffman. Stephanie Huffman is president of Epiphany Creative Services, a boutique firm focused on assisting individuals and businesses with their latest product, passion, or project. <laughs> Stephanie, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Always love being here. Yes. Yeah, you have the heart of a teacher, and I like that. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, Stephanie, many startups are business-to-business -business companies. Mm -hmm. So, how can these companies use social media for marketing until they hire enough, until they grow enough to hire somebody? That is such a great question. You know, I call it the one-arm paper hanger. But yes. the B2B element of being the business owner is so different. And one of the things you have to do is stop don't just say, oh, I just started a business. I've got to be out on social media. Yeah. No, stop. Who are you talking to? Right. What are you going to say? When are you going to say it? And where are you going to say it? Uh, some of the elements uh, that people are familiar with but might not remember at a time when I've just got to get the word out. I've got to get business. B2B is so unique because B2B is you developing yourself as the expert in your field, giving them the feeling that they can trust you, that they can come mm -hmm. to you because the product is usually sexy if it's B2C. Right. If you can get it a little more sexy or B2B is not as sexy. It's a <laughs> it's little not. bit harder work. <laughs> and so the person who is a B2B business owner has yeah. a bit more of a challenge. And anyway, but okay. yeah. Yeah, I think that's yes so same question b2c business yeah. to consumer again a little bit more sexy you've got yeah. the product you can put it on models or you can have models holding it or you can have some kind of a drawing you know it's just a little bit easier yeah. i'm not saying it's easy it's just a little bit easier but again you've got to stop and you got to go who is my client right. age range male female part of the country what type of language do i use what type of tone do i use when do i post where do I post? Is this mm -hmm. a Pinterest product? Is this just a LinkedIn product? You know, you have to really do some homework, and that's the painful part. Right. <laughs> People and, don't know, like that part. I would have to say, both based on my experience and what I've seen, you really need help. You from do. A, from from a, a company like Epiphany or somebody who knows what they're doing. And, you do. You know, in the startup phase, money is tight, mm -hmm. but if you don't figure out who your customer is and what they're interested right in up front. and how to communicate with them, mm -hmm. you yeah. That, yeah. People say, oh, well, my cousin's aunt's nephew could do my social media. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Does that person know your brand? Yeah. Is that person speaking correctly on behalf of you and using right. the right tone, the right language? Uh, so it's easy to say, I just need help. I'm just going to go out and get help. You really want someone who really understands and is willing to do the due diligence yeah. on you, your product, and your, your customer. You know, humans... Um Humans tend to see the world from their point of view. And <laughs> right. when when somebody is going into business, your point of view matters, but not not certainly not as much <laughs> as the customer's point of view. It, yes, and someone very and, hard. And it's if you haven't spent a lot of time focusing on that, mm -hmm. you need someone else. You really do. I always joke and say just because you own a riding lawnmower yeah. doesn't mean you should be the one out mowing Absolutely. the lawn. You should be out growing the business. You should yeah. be out strategizing, building relationships, networking. But yeah. if you're behind the computer plugging in yeah. posts, going into your blog, putting in the emails, writing the press releases, yeah. That's not where your time needs to be. Granted, when you start out, the budget is so small and you're so right. desperate that you just want to hand off to someone that's low, low budget mm -hmm. or that will help you, but you have to be very, very careful that if you go out of the gate without the strategy being right. carefully looked at, without the tone, without the knowledge of the customer and the product, it's not worth just getting out there right you know, up front so and I want to touch bases on something and this is really bigger than what epiphany does um, don't a, a, an entrepreneur shouldn't be doing things that 
they can't do everything. Like a bookkeeper, right. for heaven's sake, do not set up QuickBooks yourself. Get somebody <laughs> to do it. And it does it. Yeah. very hard. It's and very hard for the entrepreneur to pull back because there's always yeah. that panic of I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. You're a one arm paper hanger. Yeah. Any small business owner knows that. So it, it is difficult, but you've got to make those sacrifices some way, somehow that work for you. So for example, sometimes people come to Epiphany and they look at the budget and they're like, I can't do that. That's okay, but you can do something yeah. that's well crafted, well strategized, and right. well planned that will pay off for you better than just, uh, yeah. I need to get out there. <laughs> so you, you work with folks where if they can't do the full meal deal, you try to work with them. Absolutely. You and, you know, we do like to say we work on four cylinders. Yeah. I've mentioned to, you, to that that to you before. Okay. And, hey, yeah. we need to cover, we'll ha we need to take a break and Great. we'll cover this when we come back. Okay. Thanks. We'll be right back. Thank you.